Hey everyone, it's Helen here with Helen and with Helen. Thanks for joining me on the beaches of Cancun, Mexico. I have so much information for you all that I may have to make two videos on my trip here. But let's just start with day one, traveling. If you are traveling anytime soon, you already know that you're gonna wanna give yourself a lot of time. I don't care what airport you're flying out of, there's probably going to be lines we flew out last Saturday and I am telling you what, we were at the airport three hours early and it almost wasn't even enough. The security lines were so long. That was in Denver, Colorado, so at DIA. In fact, it was so long that I know for sure we would have missed our flight. They finally did open up another area so that people could start getting through. Um, however, you're definitely gonna wanna give yourself that three hours, four hours, two hours, especially if you're traveling international it won't be enough. And so there's that for you. You get into Cancun, Mexico. Some things have changed just a little bit. Um, coming in, you're not going to have the landing cards that you used to have. At least that was the case for us on this particular trip. So no more landing cards. However, we did stand in a very, very long line to get through customs and immigration. We were probably in the line at least an hour and a half, maybe longer after landing. So be prepared for that, especially if you're flying in on the weekends. I'm sure the lines are a little bit longer and probably the time that you get there because we got there around that noonish, and I think there's a lot of people flying in international in the Cancun. So you're obviously going to have to wait your turn. Um, but however, we just went through the line. You got up front, they asked, how long are you staying? I told them we were staying a week. They had me take off my hat. I think they took a little picture. They maybe looked at my passport a little bit just to make sure things matched up and they sent me on my way. So it was pretty easy, no landing card to hold on to for the week while you're here. And if you've traveled in the past, you already know that usually you have to fill out some of that paperwork on board the aircraft. They're not doing it right now. So I'm not sure if that's something that's gonna stick or not. And so we made it, officially made it to our resort, which was amazing. Um, you already know, if you've ever traveled in here, there's always a little bit of a process getting through. So once you've gotten through customs and immigration, you go get your luggage, then you get either a green light, red light process, right? They used to actually have a green light and a red light that they pressed. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. Um, however, it did exist because I actually experienced it once or twice. This particular one, they just had people standing there and they were either letting people go past or they were calling you over to the side. It was just, if you, it was a luck of the draw type thing. It was nothing in particular. There was nothing that was like, ah, you gotta come with us. No, they're either gonna let you go or they're gonna say, ah, randomly, we wanna search your suitcases. This is the first time that our suitcases got searched in probably 10 years of coming down here, maybe even longer. So it's only been a couple times where I've had my luggage searched. Good thing I wasn't carrying anything illegal, so that's always a good thing. Um, so they did go through all three of our suitcases very thoroughly. I do like to pack food, okay? I pack food and drinks. So I, I will bring down some of my favorite breakfast bars. I'm gonna bring down boost drinks. I'm gonna bring down some of my wine. <laughs> the little tiny bottles that I like because I don't have it down here. And so I, I packed up those things. He did kind of look at some of my bags like, mm, what's in here? Um, but then he gave it a pass and he put it back nicely and that was it. So I don't know. I always get nervous about that kind of stuff. So I'm like, am I not supposed to be bringing in anything? Is it all right if I'm bringing in a few things? Obviously it was all right because he let us go and we passed on through. Maybe if you would have somebody different, they might be like, no give over your booze and give us your wine. I don't know, but this guy, he didn't have us do that. So I think it's okay. I've talked to other travelers as well who like to pack some of their own food, some of their own drinks and stuff too. So I think relatively it's safe as long as you don't go crazy. I wasn't bringing in big bottles of anything, you know, or anything that's like that. So I don't know. So we got through that process and then you're gonna have to make your way out the door. This is where people are gonna start bombarding you. So if you have not been to Cancun, Mexico, you have got to be prepared for this. They're gonna start coming at you. Please come over here, please speak with us. We'll get you a taxi ride. We'll get you, you know, whatever it is. So they're pretty aggressive when you go through this part when you're trying to make your way out the door so that you can actually catch your taxi or catch a shuttle or whatever it is that's gonna be picking you up. This is where they're gonna bombard you. And if you don't know any better, then you're probably gonna go sit with them. Realistically, they're gonna offer you different things, excursions, this and that and they're probably gonna try to get you into some type of a timeshare. So you have to be careful. And the best advice that I can say is just be kind, but just keep moving. Just like, nope, I got it taken care of. So you're gonna wanna have your transportation probably 
um, taken care of before you get here. If nothing else, look into which way you think you're going to get to your help, your um, hotel before you get here so that you just know, so that you don't get caught up in any of that unnecessary stuff. Unless, of course, you want to buy a timeshare. Why not, right? <laughs> um, I actually um, got roped into that um, 12 years ago, and here we are. So, And that's okay. Not all timeshares are bad, right? We, we've gotten good use out of ours. So if you're going to use it and come and experience the whole thing several times a year, well, then this is the thing for you. But um, I know sometimes people just drink a little too much tequila. They sign into a timeshare, and they're like, what? why did I do that? So anyways, you're going to want to be careful. And the best thing you can do going out that door is just stay in your own lane and say, no, nope, no, thank you. I've already got it. I already got it. Thank you. And then you just blaze past you. Don't make eye contact. Okay. <laughs> so we got over here to our place and it has been amazing. I really genuinely don't even know what to say about it. I mean, here, take a peek. The waters have been more smooth than I have seen them in forever. And I have been coming a long time. I'm telling you, my son would have probably been slightly disappointed because he likes the big waves. There's always some type of a storm system, it seems like this time of year when we are traveling down here. Not this year. It is so smooth. It is crystal clear. You can see in the water. You can see the fish. You can see everything. Like. It's amazing. And people are able to go out literally, I feel like it just seems like the middle of the ocean. <laughs> if you look this way right here, I don't know if you can even see it. I wish you could. But you can see how far people are out. That's not really typical because of the waves being so bad and the underlying currents. And so, but you have people have just been out there for days. The water is so smooth and the weather has been impeccable. It has been in the 80s barely a breeze so those of you who want to cool down you're not going to have that tropical breeze right now i'm sure it's coming but it hasn't been here this week for us we did get a little afternoon shower yesterday so yesterday being thursday we finally got like just one hour worth just to kind of cool everything down water the earth and then everything is just back to normal the sunshine was out and then today they're calling for maybe a couple of like storms you can see the little clouds coming up behind us right here so we might get a little more afternoon but I am telling you it has been gorgeous true paradise and we have had no problems I know that there's been a lot of like some fear stuff going on as far as traveling international things like that honestly we have had no problems at all everybody has been so kind so friendly we've met lots of friends down here people from abroad and people who are locals down here not one time have we felt unsafe it is just business as usual our place is like back up to 80 percent capacity so people are traveling the food has been delicious we've had no issues there you know sometimes you do sometimes you don't have that problem anytime you're traveling probably to a foreign country you got to be prepared for that um, but we have had none of that it has been a blessing every which way we look at it and I'm so glad that we came and if you are traveling here anytime soon in the next couple weeks week days you are going to have the best time ever definitely always check your surroundings and stuff I know that that's been a concern a little bit for people traveling um for us we don't go anywhere at night just because we don't <laughs> 20 years ago i did okay i did when i used to come travel here in cozumel Puerto Vallarta, i did i i took it all in we went on some of those night boat cruise things we would go to all the fancy restaurants and clubs and all the different things that you can partake in when you come down here um, which a lot of people still do and they're enjoying it and hopefully they're being safe um, we just don't go out at night we just kind of stay here and we just take in the nightlife here the music the food just the sunset the beach and just the relaxation and so overall like I said for us it has been so incredibly safe but if you do go out and about you get out of the hotel zone and you kind of go out downtown and do all that just be aware of your surroundings be safe and always say a prayer so anyways guys this is video number one I will make a video for you when I get back into the states I just wanted to let you guys know that we are safe and sound here in Cancun and everything is amazing god bless Bye.